stuff. So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Not much to tell. She's just another criminal, John. She's only out for herself. Oh, you must be blind then, Bruce. I told you, I'm a watcher. And watching her, uh, she sees something in you. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? To be honest, I, I don't. No one does. People lie to themselves about their true nature. Uh, so maybe I'm lying to myself. That would explain something I've noticed recently. Feel someone a few layers deep, pacing like an animal in a cage, just looking for something to start it. Hey, that's who you really are. You shouldn't suppress it. But I, I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you, and I bet that's what Harley will like too. But how does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. That laptop is for my eyes only. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want to talk about the laptop, okay. But I want to talk about Harley. We made a deal. She would say something like that, though. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Boys, you love me! So, so what do you think? Pretty good, right? Okay, so you're coming off... Just a little bit desperate. And women like that? No, none. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham Puddin'? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny! Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed... the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. <laughs> I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, 
chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? Expecting Waller. Sorry to disappoint. So, what happened? Where were you? What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Uh, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. I had business elsewhere. Well, it better have been pretty damn important. Bet it was Waller. A nerve on her. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. By then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I. Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. Think carefully about your next words, Jim. I've been thinking about him since the moment I threw that switch. Riddler had it out for Lucius Fox, and I'm sure there's something more. The way you're pushing back on this only confirms that. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Yeah, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. 
Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for. Sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I know what it looks like, Gordon, but Wayne isn't dirty. You're wrong, you know. His whole thing, it doesn't add up. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. You got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Please, Jim. Don't. This is between you and me. I thought you were better than this, Batman. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you... You better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selina and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Damn it. Gordon has gone too far this time. I can't help but have sympathy for a man trying to do what is just. He feels as if Gotham is slipping out of control. And it is. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. We both want to take down the pact. That I know for certain. Allies are in short supply these days. I know you've worked together in the past, but... the circumstances are different. You know what must be done. table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, it, and this is a big but. 
I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Sorry, John, no exceptions. That gang, they're going to fall. <laughs> they're going to fall. Man, that's so good. You're the real deal, you know that? Of course you know it. Now, now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Oh, this is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>